Um, well, I, I'm the guy that uh, got blackout drunk on Twitch and completely got naked and got permanently banned. Oh, nice. And they finally, they, uh, they unbanned me when I got sober and I went to the VA and got psych and oh, alcohol good. abuse treatment, you know? So, good. do you want to read my logs? Oh, my God. Yeah, you shouldn't type. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, dude. <laughs> you're getting, yeah, you're getting so mad at them. You shouldn't type to them. Yeah, you'll get banned. The system doesn't want you to type. Okay. Why don't you tell me what your goal I, with the game is? Uh, well, I stream variety on Twitch, but uh, I, I don't want to become a famous league streamer. I don't. I just want to get out of bronze, and I want to stop blaming all my teammates, like for my own failures. You know what I mean? I, I just want to stop, like, and just focus on my role. But it's very, very hard for me to do that. Why? I, I, ju I just I don't know like I focus on everybody else and that is why I'm chat restricted and I'm like my ninth <laughs> account I'm literally on my 10th or ninth account So I'm gonna watch the first game and see what you're doing and then I'll guide the session from there. Sounds good Sounds good, man. No worries. All right. So when I okay, I'm just you're just gonna let me play I'm nervous. I'm don't sorry. Don't be nervous. Just play your game play play the best representation of your game I'll and obviously you, help I, you and guide you around, but my goal is to see kind of where you're at and then go from there. Right, right, right. Should I have uh, chat muted at all times or? Oh, well, yeah, okay. chat should be muted. Yes. Okay, how, how do you do that? All right, so <clears throat> I'll show you. So once you get into the game. Okay. Yeah, I also have game. like a, cr yeah. Okay. Okay. Interface. Yep. Scroll down and let's go to a little Chat. bit higher. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Sorry, brain lag. Just yep, and both of those all. and press OK. <coughs> OK. <coughs> I'm dying over here. And, okay, and so I let's. Go red? Hold on. Undo that real quick and press escape. Right. I want to see their team okay. comp first. OK. Blue smite's better here. They're very squishy. OK. And then uh, refillable, right? Yeah. No. And press escape when you close the shop as a rule. Uh, my escape bar on my keyboard is broken and I, I play on a laptop, so I literally have to reach what the hell? <laughs> over. Yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm scuffed. Um, but so do I ever go down here to these to, to this clear right here after after? Uh, yeah, red? it's a full clear most of the time. Yes. So bottom to top then. So you would go red, golems, chickens, okay. wolves, blue, gromp, and then we play it from there. Right, okay. All right. Yeah, I just get pinged a whole bunch of crazy shit. Like, or, or I get, but I get, you, I don't know. You can't care. You just can't care about that. Yeah, yeah I just want to get out of bronze. I don't, I don't care about being like diamond or like a pro streamer. I just want to get out of bronze. <laughs> and I got out of iron, but that was a nightmare, so. All right. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. I played a couple games. I won a couple earlier too, as well. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it went okay. Do I smite the big one? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes. yeah, I watched a couple. I've been watching some of your videos, so. Yeah. And these reset like every time, like it's not like a, right? Like the what golems, they uh, when when you kill one, it resets like the timer. Yes, like, right? yes, yes, yes. The patience okay, meter, okay. yes. Yeah, okay, perfect. All right. <clears throat> so if you can nail this like transition, there's a way where you can keep your stacks. You see your E stacks, or I mean your Q stacks. And you should take right. a second point in Q, by the way. You shouldn't take E. Oh, no E just to go faster? Yeah, you don't need okay. it. You literally Perfect. take two points in Q, and this will help your clear a lot, actually. Okay, to keep the stacks up mm -hmm. and uh, cool down on it then? Mm -hmm. And I have a problem with, uh, right now, like, I have a problem. I can't get blue and I can't get Gromp together. They always reset. So the way you do it, it well, don't even, mm, I, don't bother with it right now. I'll show you okay, after okay. this game. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and it ends up wasting so much of my time. Yeah. So am I gonna smite the Gromp? So then? just kind of kite to the left as you like, yeah, okay. there you go. And then smite the Gromp now is what I would do. And it pulls it kind of gotcha. towards you, yeah. Right. 
and then see if I can get uh, so the vision on the our clear our clear isn't really even that slow honestly even with the little mistakes that you made it's not even that bad so what we can do is we can we can clean it up and we can make it really really good and that will pr basically improve your your win rate right away I think but that's what I'm gonna focus on after so I I would think about fun gear but don't gank without E so go up a bit go around this this wall yeah just sit right there right and then yeah and then wait for your E just calmly wait now E behind I, her do, yeah E behind her and bump I use, into her do I use ghost no she's not a, she's not out of position really okay shit you can sorry. take scuttle that's fine you kind of want her to like peek her nose forward before you go for it right that way it pushes her back we could okay, gank bottom so, we could gank bottom okay they're, they're pretty deep yeah so oh, if you shit. go, so right now ghost and wait to E just and E Varus now E bump into him and then just spam Q and get behind him more like try to get behind him. There you go. And just keep spamming Q. Yep. You should be able to get him. Oh, so gross. Fuck. Fuck. Q spam Q. And just keep running in now E away. E away. You might Shit, be able to turn into bad, him. Man. You might be able to. Uh, never mind. Just go to golems. You might have been able to e back into him, but. So I think what you did wrong is I think you might have canceled some autos or something in there. So, so use your yeah. W and then smite the big. Smite. And, yep. Okay. Since we're and then, here like, and we're and we're already like on our clear, I would probably just clear all the way up again and then reset. Okay. Now let's see. Does out. that make that? Uh, where are we going? So red? basically you go red, red, to, red to golems is what okay. I would do Okay, and uh, do the do the crystals really make that much of a difference a hundred so, health? Uh, well, I believe it's more than a hundred isn't it? Yeah, okay All right. <laughs> no, I'm not like arguing like, No, no, I just no, no, no. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty wait. How much is it hover it now? I'm, now I'm feeling dumb uh, it's a hundred it's 150, 150 yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, 100 doesn't sound right. <laughs> I was like, I feel uh, like that's less than... So go ahead and Aries. smite. You're going to smite this, and then we're going to flank. Okay, start the golems, because the fight doesn't look like it's happening. Yep. And what I would do is, after we clear golems, I would look to ult behind the Varus, because I know he has no flash. Well, like, I'll get my... So you see where right? that ward is? That ward in front of you? Right On here? your right? Yeah, so that's where you would yeah. start your E, probably. So I would just walk over there, okay. and start the E, and then ult right behind Varus. So behind uh, him? He backed off. Go behind them. Go flank them. They, they want to back, so go find them. If you see Varus, it would be a better target than him, I think. Yeah, he's going to knock you away. Yep. Fuck me, dude. So the reason... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. So what got you in trouble was that you targeted the wrong person. You better Wait. run. You better eat away. You better eat away and go to, to chickens. Go to our chickens. Shit. It's okay. Shit. Use your refill. So All because right. you because you went on the Alistar, he's always just gonna knock you up and then throw you away, right? So okay, so it doesn't matter. I shouldn't have went for him just because he was low health. Yep. That's right. Okay, I see. I see my mistake there. Okay. And then go back to blue. The dragon isn't even done yet. We'll go to wolves and then go up. And then if it were me, I would just take the reset after this, I think. We don't have much. Did I see you? Nah, we would just, no? we'd just okay. take a reset and then get your Q and then we'll go bombies into cloth armor. Okay, so yeah. So objectives are not that big of a deal in this ELO then. Like, no, they're over, losing... overrated, overrated. Yeah, so me like worrying about that being the most important thing is is probably why i'm losing a lot then smite big one yeah i wouldn't smite anymore just because you want to use oh, that shit. for your fights okay right okay all right all right now let's go over to bottom and sweep like go towards bottom and sweep where just it just towards try okay clear it and then go to the next bush across the river yep and then if they don't back down, we're going to just E and fight them, okay? Yeah, just E and go. They're Wait, not paying attention. The e Ooh, to, to Varus. Oh, God. I smited him. I'm sorry. Keep, uh, no, it's okay. Just Shot keep queuing. Keep, keep queuing. Keep queuing. Okay, back and just keep queuing. Fuck me. So when it comes time to fight, oh, we'll go to wolves next. Or, I mean, chickens, rather. That's the real one right there. Okay, Got try him. to get out if you can. Try to get out if you can. Okay. I couldn't. 
Shit. So, <clears throat> go and uh, grab Magic Mantle. So, the problem is when you fight right now, you're just closing your eyes and hoping that things work. Okay. You're not, eye is not on the ball. So your target is Varus. Don't be flinging your ult at him. Literally just bump into him with E. Let's go to chickens now. So like you, when you had the, the var, yeah, the Varus, like you literally don't even need to ult him right away. Just E and bump him to your team. <laughs> So push him back because I yes. have positioning. Okay. Because right. you're basically throwing your ult at him and turning it, the whole gank into a skill shot when it doesn't need to be at all. My red's uh, coming up. So should I? So just keep farming. That's it. Basically that. Yeah. You need to clear this gromp though. Sweep as yeah. you go through. Okay. Right, yeah. Clear all this. Clear the shroom as well. Oh, he's on rift. We can go steal it. Hit the eye and then smite. Oh god, no. this is getting so messy. I'm sorry. No! <laughs> That's because yeah, you're getting I... distracted, yep. Remember what I I... I tell you very clear missions. I never once gave a shit about that Teemo. If you hit the eye no, and smite no. it, it makes the whole fucking thing How easy. How do I get behind it right Just away, click, though? Just click through it. Go ahead and grab this and press B. Press B, you get the power back. Where should I weigh the... Uh... So we'll think about going bot with it. Move your camera down there. Team's fighting. Remember that you want to get behind Varus and you want to just E him into your team. I don't have all. So though. now Chem Tank, you're fine. Chem Tank and go behind them. Yep, bump into he him. Flashed. That's fine. Q and get in front of him. Now get in front of him. Ah, uh, okay. Keep running out and help him out. Ah. Uh, smite him, smite him, smite him, smite him. Wrong guy. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You're about to get queued. Yeah. All right, let's take B. Oh let's take a B. God. Press B, press B. We go in the bush or just oh, right there. Okay. It's it's a hard. Oh, our ult away, ult away, ult away, ult away, ult away, ult away. Let's go to chickens. She stopped our back. Let's go to chickens. We can see them all, so I think we're fine. Okay. Now spam Q and then move up. You're gonna full clear while we have downtime. Shake goes gotcha. on our camps. We're going to wolves. When do uh, I have rifts still? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I'll guide okay. you through objectives. Stop worrying about objectives. Right. Damn it. I'm, sorry. Right, I'm done I with. Just... I'm done with objectives. <laughs> I'll I'll manage that. You manage what I'm telling you to do right now. Now let's go to right, uh, to right. Gromp next. Bots, bot lanes gone. We're gonna take a reset after this. I right, press B. Okay. Now am I going mana yep, moon? Yep. 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 So swords and yep. uh, should I and... get one sword? No, that's good. So we're good. We're good. Let's get out of here. Now, where am I going? We're probably going to golems again. We got to win a fight. That's the only way this game is winnable. Because right now we're throwing every right. fight. So you got to slow yourself down and think about the fight. The way that okay. Hecarim plays, we need to just e people towards our team from behind them. Let's go to scuttle after this. And then we're going to fight in mid, probably. Yep, yeah, bump it. Now move your camera to mid. Set up in this brush. We finally have some control of the game for a second to breathe. In this bush. Get to the bottom of the bush so you don't get engaged on. I don't want to get caught. Yeah. <clears throat> now keep your eye on this. If they do something silly, we have E and we have ult. Now you want to... When you ult, you kind of want to land the ult like behind the... Okay, so you see that Varus? That's who I'm thinking about. So E... Start by Eing and, and chem tanking. And just get him. Just bump into him. No, just bump him? him. No, just bump oh, just, him. Oh, okay. I thought you want... You see, you are the loosest of cannons, my friend. I'm not... Dude, everybody tells me that. So, hell, really? That, okay. Well, yeah, there's that a, I have, like... I'm I on the not, right track, uh, aren't I? Go to take yeah. that stance. Got now, it. you're a loose cannon. Stop <laughs> using your big ability right away. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. okay. Calm. This is a thinking game. You understand? Calm. Yeah. We think about what we do. We don't just do right now. You don't need to just do. You need to just think about the action. So we're going to try this again, except this time, right. the guy with the so, bow. Okay. That's Him the right focus. Here. That's all I care about. You understand? So we're going right. to go. We're going to go to river in a straight line. And we're going to take chickens along the way. Okay, so just take chickens. Yep. 
Now you're gonna sweep and you're gonna move towards mid. Now Varus back down, so I don't think we can catch him, but that's who I want to kill. Now we can go and shove mid while we have nothing to do. You can take that that ward though. Now be careful with wasting your E like this, because when we're oh, shoving, yeah. we want to be oh, able to right. see like to right now. If this right. guy goes on us, we don't have E. So let's go to wolves. Now we're gonna yeah. go to mid next. Mid? Yeah, I wanna we gotta defend dragon. Shove mid so we you have to. So you can, oh, yeah. Shove. Yep, Push shove mid, shove mid. Just start queuing the wave, yep. Now, Bowman is who we want. When you fight, Bowman, okay. you are going to He's wait. Right there. You're gonna wait for your team to be kind of near you, which they are, follow Aatrox. And then if you see Bowman, I want you to ghost E chem tank and just bump into Varus first instead of whatever the hell you've been doing. Ghost E chem tank, okay. Ghost D1. Yes, and we e. got we gotta go here. So, all right, so start start your ghost and your E and wiggle around at them. Just wiggle at start them. Yeah, yeah, just e. wiggle and then oh, if we get hit by I'm CC, we're yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine, good try. We never really, I don't know, Aatrox might be able to do something. He's trying. Nah, probably not. Yeah. So <clears throat> this game is probably GG. Sure. Sure. Um. Yeah. They might surrender it. They might vote us off the island. This is this is a fixable game. Like we can I can do some things that'll help for sure. Yo, what up? I'm Arctic Nice. And uh, I just want to let you know that we've got my friend Verkayu. He's putting together a Thimble Winter Boot Camp. You better sign up real fucking quick if you want to learn all about jungling. If you haven't seen Verkayu, he makes a bunch of cool jungling content. He was on Summer Speak with me. Anyways, he's going to be teaching you how to get better at League of Legends. And I'm going to be there. And my, my friends are going to be there. People like Doubtful. People like... Who else is going to be in this motherfucker? Uh, Phalaris. People like Watley. People like... King Nidhogg is going to be there and a bunch of other people and we're going to be covering a bunch of other stuff in all the roles. It's going to be a four day boot camp. It's going to be starting next week on Monday. So if you want to sign up, you better sign up sooner rather than later or the price is going to double. Oh yeah. If you want to sign up, you got to head on over to bootcamp.lol or discord.gg slash bootcamp. I got to go and try to stay warm in this piece of shit fucking Arctic. I'll see you guys later. You better sign up for the bootcamp or you're going you're gonna to fail and you're never going to you're never gonna do it. You're never gonna get to to where you want to. You're never gonna feel the embrace of e girls that like. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna give you the. I'm gonna give you the rundown. Here's what we okay. got. I'm going to pull this game up and I'm gonna give you a demo of what's happening and then I'm gonna show you practice tool. You're gonna go into practice tool and you're gonna demonstrate you understand this and then we're gonna try again and hopefully we can. Uh, How did it can I full screen this? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You should be able to. All right, all right. So check it out. Just watch how we gank the first time and you'll see. Okay. So I had you gank. Now watch how the, we do this. You start with the ghost, right? Now watch yep. what you do. I went for the... So first, here. now see this, okay? I want you to see it and just remember what you just did, okay? I'm going to draw a little line on the screen in a second so that you can understand. So what you just did, right? You're a new player. So you eat relatively on time. You eat somewhere down here, right? Which is pretty good, I think. Somewhere in this area is probably good, right? And then what you did is you ran in a straight line like this. You see this? Right. Okay. Now, the thing is, is when you hit somebody like this, you send them here. You understand? But what I really want is I want something more like this. Right. To knock them back into the minions and team, right? Yes. This also adds more space for him to run. You see what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Yep. This looks like and a more goofy. Damage to be dealt. This looks like a goofy math problem, but you get the idea. Right. No, I get it. So watch how he's able to get closer to his tower. This is a very important thing to see, because think about the distance and think about how much he lives by. Okay. You get bumped in your auto, and then you auto. You canceled an auto there. You got one more auto. Now, here's the thing. Are you familiar with what canceling an auto means? No, I have no idea what that well, is. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you in slow motion, okay? Okay. Watch Hecarim when he auto attacks, okay? Watch his auto, and watch this guy's health, right. okay? Ready? Watch. That's an auto. Very clearly, okay. you hit an auto. You see that? That yellow? Right. Clearly, an auto went through, okay? 
Okay. Watch again. Here we go. We're going to try to auto. We haven't autoed him again, but we got behind him, which was good. So that's a Q, right? Not an auto. Okay. Auto. That was an auto. Okay, now watch. You're about to cancel one. Ready? So. See? See your auto disappears? Uh, yeah. See your auto? Is, in that time, Alistar canceled it as well. Because he knocked you away. Because your oh, animation okay. is going and he knocks you away. Now watch. You're about to cancel it again. See? You queued, but you did not auto. You see that? Oh, okay. What's yeah. happening is, is as the animation, so he has an animation that goes from here to here, right? If the animation completes, right, you get an auto attack. You understand? If the animation I gets, see. if the animation gets to say, let's say, let's use this. If the animation gets to here and you break it by right click, right? Let's say you right click. You don't get the auto attack. You stopped the animation. So if we go back again, hold on, right here, watch your animation. You got about 40% of the way through the animation. Watch, ready? Did you see that? And then you clicked, you see? You, were, you started the auto attack here, and then you clicked before the auto attack finished right here. I saw, I see the movement. You see that? Right, right. So I'm what's happening is, much. exactly. I want you to process what we just said, right? So will it auto him? Eat, will it follow him? If yes. If I just auto Literally, him? Literally, and that's why I wanted to show you this because, okay, we did that a bunch, but the other thing is I want you to see your ult. Once I show you your ult, then you can we can fix your problems very quickly and make it so you're, because you're actually, like, I think it'd be easy to be pretty dismissive of you for most people watching this and be like, oh, this guy's, you know, this guy's doing all this stuff and he's making all these mistakes, blah, blah, blah. But actually, I don't really hate what I'm seeing here. I think I can get this going. I think I can get you going. I think what we need is we just need to clarify some things for you and, and really lay into the fact that you need to calm the fuck down when you're fighting, okay? And we're going to get to that. So now you've got your golems you get your six and i have you gank but i want you to see how you gank so you can learn from this and this is the second part of this coaching okay you right. want varus varus bowman any fucking squishy targets without any sort of mobility are always priority number one i'm going to show you this after but where you want your alt to land versus this guy is right here you ever play that's you ever play heading? no no you ever play billiards like pool? no like no when you hit a pool ball right like let's say let's okay. say let's say i've got a ball here okay and yeah. i hit a ball that's like this the ball is okay. gonna go this way right yeah because of where the ball connects hecarim's ult consider his ult like a ball okay if you oh, hit varus here it knocks yeah. him this way with the fear right just okay, like if you okay. hit varus this way with e it bumps him this way as well okay is this still are you still tracking what i'm saying yeah dude i'm under yeah i'm getting it so when you play hecarim view it as just like a bunch of balls right on the map and you always want to hit the ball at the angle where you want it to go once you view the champions as like a ball that we're kicking in one direction then the champion makes a lot more sense now the other thing is you targeted the wrong person here but watch your ult okay Right. Watch where it lands and where he goes. See the ball? You've now hit the ball like this. Understand? Yeah. And That's he's not going good forward for us. instead of That's backwards. That's not good for us, is it? Exactly. No. So now, where is it? What? Okay, I'm going to... How do, where do I lay my, so it has to be in front of them, it, preferably? Yeah, so, so when you the ult, ult, if you slow it down, I'm going to show you practice tool now. This will be easier to right. demo. Okay, so let me show you practice okay. tool. Now, you can go into practice tool, but I think it'd be better. You could start loading practice tool, but don't focus on me right now, okay? Yeah, I'm watching. Because I want you to see it from, hold on, I got I to gotta load into my chill niece account one second, okay? Yeah, how much Xanax do you take before your chill knee streams? Oh, you're I, chill. I, I don't take. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't take, I'm kidding, uh, I don't take anything, like man. People are like you suggesting. Are chill, chill. People are suggesting I'm, I'm, that I do. Uh, what's it? That I smoke weed before.
it's pretty OP. I think what's more amazing is that somehow these guys actually aren't finding anything to do in this situation. Oh, they're gonna base. But I, mean, I don't. Who, if you do, who gives a shit, honestly? I, if, if I, I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm like a control freak, man. I can't. I'm too straight edge. So all the stuff can be practiced in the practice tool, okay? So let's right. say you've got your items here. All you really need to know is if we have our ult, like so. There is your, remember the ball example? Yeah. Now, if I okay. hit, if I aim here, I'm not gonna get the fear, okay? Okay. It does the damage, but it doesn't fear. I'll show you again. Doesn't fear. Right. If I hit it, the ball, right? Just like a pool ball, like I showed you. Tyler Wilson or a soccer ball. Sent 800 stars. He Just will go that way. I enjoy the okay, so, share. yeah, okay, so, it, okay, I, okay, I, now I understand his, now I get it. So, if I okay. want him to go up, if I want him to go that way, he goes yeah. up. Yeah, it bounces. The like thing is, the dummies, the, the dummies don't move because they're dummies. Right, all right, right. But just you have to trust me. Depending on where you hit it, is where it goes. If you do not hit him, you will not get the fear. Right. The ball has to connect. Got it. So now, here's the key. When you were ganking. You were doing goofy shit. This is why I was yelling at you for rushing the plays because here you have a you had a flank at one point like this. All right, so let me you had a flank and let's say Varus is here. So what you were doing is you're just flinging your ult in some random direction, right? And right. it's not really that it's not really that useful. But here's the cool thing with Hecarim. If you start with Ghost and you just E, you can do something like this which bumps him. And then if he starts running away, right? He's running away. You can he go can all, and, and then push him back. again. Yes. Oh, okay. So what's happening is since you're coming into fights and you're just flinging your ult, you're you're not even playing pool, right? You're not even you, you're basically right. walking up to the pool table and you're just like swinging your you know how people like swing their stick at the ball, it doesn't go anywhere. That's basically what you're doing. You're not aiming with I, the stick. The stick is not being used. The end I of the stick. I assumed his circle just steered him in any direction. I didn't nope. know it had to like bounce off a particular angle. Like I didn't know. Now I know. Yeah. So basically, uh, you're, it's it's more precise than you realize. So go ahead and load up the practice tool real fast. While it's loading, I want you to look here. Okay. There's a there's a one more trick I want to teach you that I think is really important. So you have. You have your R, right? And you can instant cast it if you want, like this. I don't do this a lot with Hecarim because I'm always afraid I'm gonna miss because I like to see the ball, okay? Right. So what I do is I have in hotkeys, abilities, I have a manual cast for shift on all my abilities. So if I ever, shift? so if I hold shift and press R, I get the indicator. If I just press R, I get it instantly. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is I can choose whether or not to aim. Like if I put my mouse here, I'm still going to hit here. But I'm saying that I I'd like to be able to see the ruler, so to speak. Right. Okay. I want to know where I'm going. So if I'm running up, you'll see me do something like this. I'll E, I'll shift R, and then I'll press R. So I'm aiming. Think of I it as see. like looking down your scope, right? E, right. shift R, I'm going to hit him every time. Cool. Yeah, and they, and they bounce back, so. Yes, but you does, can but also, does, yeah, go ahead. Wait, I'm sorry for interrupting, but no, does the E, like, do you know how your E bounces them back? Does that bounce off of the R? Yes, too? yes, so, uh, perfect okay. example, yes, yeah, so, technically, you'll see it, the bump into the fear. Okay. So you can do that. Personally, the way I play, like, if I see an R, like a group, I'm gonna go like this. And fear them all in, right? Yep. If I see one guy isolated from his team that I want to kill, I'll probably do something more like this. And then, cool. wherever happens, I'm like fighting, and then say he flashed away, fear. Okay, so that way you have that mobility. You're not just using all your big shit right the away. The thing, the problem with your game, in summary, to <laughs> conclude, right? To conclude right. the issue is, like I said, 
you are throwing everything away right away, you're not playing pool. You're not aiming. You're not looking down the scope. You're basically a guy with the gun with like hip firing, right? You need right. to take this step by step and just think to yourself, okay, I'm just gonna bump this guy in and then stay in front of him like this. So if he moves, see? Okay, yeah. And then if he does get away from me, fuck you, buddy, right? Yeah, you're done anyways, right. That's the thing is Hecarim, the positions you were in were actually not that bad. Cause you would be, you would have the kill, but you would play the gank. That's why I said it's like a D minus. Cause you would play the gank so badly it just didn't matter. Like you just yeah, were gonna I went fuck in a the gank up. Line. I went in a you would straight go, line. Yeah, you would go like this. Behind him. Right. So it's right. gotta be tactical. You gotta come in, you gotta swoop in, do your thing, beat him up, and then follow along. And then if you have to ult, it, or another example would be, let's say they're running away and you're just not gonna connect in time with your E, right? So you're coming in and you're just not gonna hit. So then you would go like this. Okay. So that, oh, so it combined and it knocked them back. Yes, in yes, them. yes, yes, yes. Perfect, okay. Yes, right. I would I would prefer though, as a rule, I like easy. So if it's like, if you, if you look at your E, the charge, you see that charge? Yep. As long as it doesn't run out, you're good. So okay. I'll show you again, as long as it doesn't run out, you're good. Now another fun trick, and this will have to be the last one I show you today, but when you get really good, I just want you to hit C and low B level ganks, okay? I don't even need anything crazy for you to win. Okay. I don't need you to do perfect ganks. But if you really want to know like high level shit, one thing you would do is like, say you're ganking and you're facing good players. You're going to get behind them and they're going to flash when you do this and they're going to flash here. So if they flash, you go like that and help them. Okay. I want you to understand that. So what you do is if you're, if you know that your opponents are smarter, which no offense, they're not going to be for a while, but if you if your opponents are smarter you go like this and you act like you're gonna eat them but then fake and then they flash and then you hit them so it'd be like right. this so you go you fake and then you go like this and you kill them even though they flash do you understand yep yep you bait them there you go <clears throat> cool go into practice tool real fast because i want to get one more game in with you i just wanted you to try the ult real fast before we go into another one